Chuck Fresh from Computer Care Clinic. This is Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. We had a question from uh, a couple of customers of ours, and they were wondering how to manage their favorites in Internet Explorer. I know it's kind of an antiquated system, and as a matter of fact, Internet Explorer is not even featured with Windows 10. So if you went to Windows 7, I mean Windows 10, I don't know why you did it, but if you did, Internet Explorer doesn't even show up here. So I'm using Windows 10, but if you're still using Windows 8, Windows 7, this should all pretty much work in a similar fashion. So we'll show you how to manage your favorites. So the first thing you want to do is if you have Windows 10 and you upgrade it from Windows 7 or uh, Windows 8, uh, I'm not going to tell you you're crazy, but uh, you know, you're, you're definitely a wild, adventurous person. So if you want to get Windows uh, Internet Explorer back, what you have to do is click on your start button. You have to find it. So you could do this little search here and let's type in Internet Explorer. And there it is. It actually still ships with Windows 10, but it's hidden. So if you want to show it, you can do a search for it and then right click on it. And then you can pin it to your start button. Or if you want to create a shortcut for it, this is a little complicated. You might have to watch this a couple of times. Left click on open file location. And that'll open your Explorer, and it'll show you the actual icon and the shortcut to that. And then you can right-click on it, and just like you did in Windows 7, send to desktop, create shortcut, and bang. There is your Internet Explorer shortcut on Windows 10. Didn't think that was possible, did you? And there it is. It imported all my favorites over for my prior operating system. We upgraded from Windows uh, 8 on this particular machine. I believe. Anyway, so as you can see, I have a favorites bar. And let me take all this stuff away and show you what it looks like natively when it ships from Microsoft. You've got nothing up here. And let me open it again. And this is what you may be seeing. So you've got no toolbars. Although along the upper right-hand corner, you see you do have this little toolbar. And this is where your favorites live in Internet Explorer 11. So if you click it once with the left mouse button, it'll show you all your favorites. You can also look at your feeds, which hardly anybody uses, and also your history, anything, any websites that you visited before. Um, history is also a good way to get to something. If you're like, wow, I went to that website and looked for that new car a couple of weeks ago, and I can't remember what that was. Well, just click on your history, and then you'll see everything that came up, and then you can click on it and it'll bring you back wherever you are. But we're going to look at favorites today. So click on the favorites tab. And this is a really neat way to manage your favorites. So say you have this really awkwardly worded website. Uh, it's got a really, really strange and long URL like computercareclinic.com. Just too many things to type and you don't want to type it up there in the address bar forever or do a search for it. What the devil is that? I don't want Windows Bing. So I'm going to go to our website, which is a really long URL, and then we'll go to uh, where are YouTube videos right here. And it's got this really long URL. Well, I don't want to have to go back in and find that site and search for it every time. I want to add that to my favorites. So to do that, the way they want you to do it is click on the star in the upper right-hand side. Click on it once with a left mouse button, and then you see this button up here that says Add to Favorites. You click on that once, it'll come up this box, and you can give it a special name. So I can go, I can call it whatever I want, something that I know. I can develop an acronym, or call it slang, or call it Bob's Favorite Videos, or whatever I want. So I'm just going to say CCC Videos, just for explanation, and then I click Add. And now this particular URL is in my favorite places. So when I'm at my home page, I click on my favorites, and there's my CCC videos. And if I left click on that one time, it will take me right to that page so I don't have to key that in all over again. And you should add this to your favorites too. Make sure that you have our site and our videos in your favorites. So. Uh, that's how you add a favorite. Now, you can also manipulate your favorites. There's a lot of uh, stuff that will be added if you have an off-the-shelf computer, especially Toshiba and HP. They put a whole bunch of junk in there. If you don't want it in there, there's a couple of different ways to get rid of it. You can either right-click on it with the right mouse button that brings up the menu, and then left-click on Delete. Bang, Bing's gone. And if you want to add something back, you just add something back in there. The easiest way to do it is browse to the website. So if I wanted, let's say, Google.com. Not Google, Google. 
And then I could just click on my star and then add to favorites. And it just says Google. I like that. And now I go back, look at my favorites. I have CCC videos, Google, AOL, MSN, all that stuff there. So I can add anything I want, remove anything I want. It's a real easy way to organize and access any websites that you visit on a repeated basis. A lot of people add their email sites there, their Gmail, their Hotmail, Yahoo Mail. Also, a lot of people will add their banking sites and news sites up there so they can get to them very, very easily. A couple of different ways to do desktop shortcuts, too. I'll tell you about those in a future video when we get a little bit more advanced, but keep it basic right now. Now, the second thing you can do here, which is really neat, is you can show your favorites bar. Essentially, what that is is a folder that appears in your Internet Explorer window that has certain favorites that you use all the time. Now, how do you get to that? Well, you can right-click on a blank area up here in your title bar. Just right-click on it and then left-click on favorites bar. Now, I've got a bunch of stuff in here already, and what I will do for uh, just your sake, I will take everything out of here to make it look like it came out of the box. Oops, and then we'll add all this stuff back in here, and I'll show you how to manipulate and do all this stuff. Uh, really neat, really, really good way to organize the, uh, oops, not copy, to actually organize your favorite websites. So say I want to go to CNN. I don't want to type in C -E CNN, and I might not want this as my homepage. So what I can do to add it to my favorites bar, one of two ways. I can add to favorites, or I can add to my favorites bar up here by clicking on add to favorites bar. And you see this little down drop arrow here? I can click that, and that will add that to my favorites bar. And you see it popped up right here. So now if I'm home, and I want to get to it without even clicking on my star, if I'm incredibly lazy, all I have to do is click on this. Bang, I've got my CNN right up here. And you can do this with any website. So there's another way to do this, too. If I say I'm a big fan of uh, sports or something, I want to look at ESPN but I don't want to have to type in ESPN.go.com. Another way you can add this to your favorites bar is just see where it says drag to taskbar to pin site. I can either drag that to my desktop if I wanted to and create a site there, which is kind of neat. If I want to add this to my favorites bar, remember two ways to do it. I can click on my favorites and then left click on add to favorites bar and it will add it there. Or I can just click on it, left click, hold it, and just drag it anywhere in position I want here. If I want it to be first, I can put it before CNN. If I want it to be afterwards, I can put it in the middle of two of them. And then when I find the place I want it, I just let go of that left click. Bang, it's right up here in my favorites bar. Now let's say I want to go to my bank. And I want to add a shortcut for that because I go to my bank all the time. I want to check my credit card statements. I'm kind of neurotic about that. I want to make sure I haven't been ripped off and nobody's taking my money because it's mine because I worked for it, darn it. And again, you can do the same thing. Either click on your star and add to favorites bar or just favorites if you want to do that. You can add it to both. No harm doing it in both places. Now you see that's shown up here. And I'm also going to add it to my favorites bar. So now I can rearrange these anyone, anywhere I want by just clicking on them, left-clicking on them, and holding them. Now, you can put maybe five or six up here before you start running out of space. Or you can um, actually rename them if by right-clicking on each one of these. Now, we know this is CNN, so I don't need breaking news, daily news, blah, blah, blah. So let me just call this CNN because we know it's CNN. Bang. And you see how it made it a lot shorter? So now I can fit more shortcuts up here without running out of real estate. Space Coast Credit Union, we'll just call that SCCU. And ESPN, I don't really need to know you're the worldwide leader in sports. I'm just going to call you ESPN. And now I've got these three shortcuts up here on my favorites bar. Real easy to get to. Just click on them once. It'll take me anywhere I want to go almost instantaneously. And that's what I've got, my little favorites bar. So that's how to manage your favorites and your favorites bar. Now, when you get a little bit more advanced, you can actually go into this and organize favorites by clicking on your favorites icon and then clicking the down arrow and then organize favorites. And then you can move things around. You can change the position. You can add things to your favorites bar. Uh, how do I get that in my... Oh, move to favorites bar. So now that just popped at my CCC video. So you can also rename them here. I got AOL comma news. I don't really need the news. I just clicked on rename. And we'll just make this AOL. And again, I can rename this here. Let's call this SCCU. So it's all really as tight and as concise as you want to get them, as easy as it is for you to remember. You might want the whole description there, and there's no harm in leaving it there. But in your favorites bar, you can fit a whole lot more. If you've got 
10, maybe 15 websites. You can really compress the names and fit them all up here and just bang, one click, you're everywhere you want to go. Let's go to Microsoft Edge, which if you were watching our Windows 10 videos, you can see that Edge is the new, it's the replacement to Microsoft's Internet Explorer. And that's going to store favorites in a whole different place and just frustrate the dog snot out of you. So to get to your favorites here, we're going to look at this little three dash thing here, which kind of symbolizes a menu. And I can import my favorites from where? From Internet Explorer or Chrome too. So I'm going to import those. And it tells me that I'm all done. And now I click back here and look at my favorites. And voila, there are my favorites right here on the right hand side imported from internet explorer now into edge so edge looks it just looks a little more funky it takes a little getting used to it's not awful ah there it is show the favorites bar so again i'll click on the three dots here then i'll click left click on settings and then switch this little doodad here to show the favorites bar and bang there's my favorites bar just like in internet explorer so that's that, and I can get to any of my websites in Edge by just clicking on the icon. So that is, in a nutshell, managing your favorites in both Internet Explorer and um, uh, Microsoft Edge. And this works across the board in anywhere from Windows Vista all the way up to Windows 10. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. We'll try to get to them. Please like and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. My name's Chuck Fresh. This is Computer Care Clinic's Tip of the Day. <laughs>